Oh, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Yeah? Awesome. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm great. Yo. Just been in another bar with this guy called Stuart. Absolute legend. Wicked sense of humour. <laughs> so we're shooting the shit. Chewing the fat, you know? When this arsehole loudmouth butts in on the conversation. Turns out that Stuart's a passionate Burroughs supporter, right? Like proper, I've got tattoos and everything, diehard fan. So like any self-respecting punter, still has money on his team to win the league. 50 quid to be exact. Borough, yeah. 50 quid on Borough. So this is where Loudmouth butts in. Turns out he's a supporter of the other lot, right? So he has no qualms about sticking it to Stu and telling him he's just wasted his money. Where a man puts his money is his business, right? So obviously Stu's a bit pissed off, it takes a while to calm down. But when he does it, turns out the loudmouth's not a bad guy. I mean, he's a bit of an arse, but who isn't in the pub? Anyway, so he buys us a drink and then we buy him one. But when the fourth round comes about, we're like, who's buying? Turns out loudmouth thinks his luck's in, right? So he wants us to flip for it. But there's three of us, I say. So Loudmouth says that we each flip, and whoever's the odd one out buys the drinks. Sweet as. Anyway, so everyone's won a few by the time the arse nips off to the toilet. So Stu turns to me and says, I've got an idea. He wants us to call it differently each time. That way Loudmouth can never be the odd one out. And then we split whatever we win 50-50. So when Loudmouth returns, we give it a go. Stuart goes first and gets heads. Then I go. And I get heads too. But this time, I call tails. Loudmouth gets tails as well. Simple, eh? Pure dead brilliant. <laughs> Told you Stuart was a legend. Then Stuart comes up with a great idea. He says, forget pounds. How about a tenner a go? <laughs> you should have seen Loudmouth's face. It was like someone had pissed in his pint. He knows his blast has been called and he can't back down. I'm never one to let a mate down, so I'm in too. So Stu flips the coin. We call. Stuart heads, me tails, and loudmouth tails. So Stu's the old one out and he's up 30 quid. Next time I win and we're well up. Then loudmouth starts losing the rag, right? Because in half an hour we're taking hundreds off him. It's unbelievable. He's losing money quicker than an investment banker. And Stuart's up a hundreds, I can't quite believe it, but it's okay. Because we're going to meet up later to divide the winnings. Loudmouth's getting the hump right, calling us cheat, but as I explained to him, how can we be? I've lost just as much as him, in fact, Stu's cleaned me out. I'm done. Finito. How can I be cheating? It's a game of chance after all. Stuart must just be lucky today. So Stu, right, always the legend, leans over and says to me, I think it's time to split. Time to leave separately and meet later at the Criterion to share the takings. See you in ten. See you in ten.
thing is, is that was over an hour ago now. Now, nah, I'm doing a minute. The legend 